the game currently has 150,000 players. There's almost a quarter of a million people playing this game right now. And it's been visited 27 billion times. Not million, a billion. The game has 1 million dislikes, but I mean, it also has 5 million likes. So it has one of the better ratios for, you know, very popular game. Let's see what they got. Dancing Dragon Unlocked. They immediately ask you for a microtransaction for $8. That's quite a lot. Okay, I have a choice between being a parent and a baby, but I can pretty much guarantee you there's nobody looking for babies in this game. So I picked a baby. Oh, I completely forgot I have a rat. That's awesome. My rat loves me. Teleport to the new lunar event stand. Wait, $350. So it's a dollar and a half per loot box, roughly. And what did I get? Lunar White Tiger. Is it rare? How do I even find out if it's if it's any good? Pets? Ultra rare? Well, I don't know if it is actual ultra rare, but uh, I just got it. Okay, I can't afford more, but it, it's kind of interesting. It doesn't show you the chance of you getting any of these tigers. Oh no. Oh no. Creature. I hate this. I hate this thing. It's it's Jenna. I'm out, I'm out of here, dude. I'm out of here. They have uh they still have a sign of not throwing children off the bridge into the water, which is probably the most fun part in this game, to be fully honest. But uh, let's go and explore. Let's see if there's any children in this game whatsoever. And so if I go to the babies area, there's none. There's nobody. Nobody wants to be a baby, and nobody wants to adopt stinky, ugly babies. Okay, so they're showing the chances. It's 15% chance to get ultra rare, or 3% to get a legendary. Is this the egg? Oh my god. You can't even see how much does it cost to buy an egg if they ask you to buy the box first. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna do the good value pack. Mm -hmm. Buy a royal egg. That that That's how much it cost. That was $7. Hatch now. I have. Oh, you have to pay to hatch it as well. Half a dollar. So that was seven and a half dollars. And what did I get? It's a, it's a bunny. Let's try a mythic egg. I don't know what mythic egg is. What the heck is this? What is this? Volper Tiger. I, I got the lowest quality pet. Let's see what actually is happening in this game. Okay, I got a slip. Oh my god. So if you do the actual objectives in this game, you only get a few bucks at a time. How many bucks am I gonna get if I complete one of these challenges? It says right there, 12 bucks. If I wanted to open an egg, that would mean that I need to complete this 30 times. And it wouldn't even be guaranteed that I'm gonna get something good. Jimmy, I have a question. How many Robux did you spend on this game? So it makes me wonder, because I just ran through $20 worth of Robux. Just to open a couple of eggs. I bet it's 800. So that's roughly $10. Huh. Now, if they have 150,000 players right now, almost quarter a million, and we multiply it by 10, that would mean that they made... And let's say every single person who is playing right this moment spent only $5. That would be almost a million Robux on the rich party. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I'm, I got invited to a rich party, apparently. Time to enter the rich party. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a very interesting design choice. Is this the party? This party sucks. How's the place? It was awful. It was it was terrible. What makes people enjoy uh, Adopt Me? You can't even interact with anybody. Because everybody, everybody is just so obsessed with their pets. Carrying them around everywhere. Like, this person is on a rabbit. I'm trying to communicate with them, but I can't because they just don't even pay attention to you. Maybe it's because I'm a baby. Maybe it's because I'm beautiful and they're really jealous and they don't want to talk to me. But just nobody talks to you in this game. This is the main place where everybody is. And people barely talk to each other. ABC if you have RGB box. ABC. They send me a trade request. I'm not gonna give them RGB box. I'm gonna give them pizza unicycle. They- Oh my god. How many- How many tigers did, did they open? These were like $3 each. I'm doing research. How much Robux did you spend on Adopt Me? Like about 15k. 15k. $150. Maybe I should open a, like a game where you adopt pets. What's so special about the game that made you spend $200? I don't know. You have fun and I enjoy it. I'm not having fun. Lemonade for $1 or a hot dog for 26 
Can I open my own stand? Oh my god, they have so many microtransactions. Charge for hot dogs. Set price. 50. Best hot dogs make your pet ultra rare. Buy hot dogs. Nobody, nobody believes me. Somebody bought lemonade for $1. It's actually not lemonade. It's poison. Hot dogs cure poison. Come on, please, somebody buy my, buy my hot dogs. Oh my god, they actually did! They actually bought a hot dog for 50! Thank you. I have a strong feeling they just meant to buy lemonade, but they accidentally pick picked up hot dog for 50. How's the weather up there? Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Where is he taking me? Are we going to a party? I think he just tried to drop me in the river, <laughs> but failed. I think, I think I actually completed the game. The game is called Adopt Me, and I just got adopted. W what? Wait. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, here's a gift. The, there's different types of gifts. The biggest gift is 500, out of which you have only 4% chance to get a legendary. Let's uh, open it up. What did I get out of this gift? Stop propeller. Oh, this is actually pretty awesome, but it doesn't seem very useful. Where am I going? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. This is the most popular game in Roblox, and I'm stuck. Do I have to pay to get unstuck? Yeah, it seems like that's, that was the only way to get unstuck. I don't understand two things. I don't understand the, the hatred towards this game, but I also don't understand the appeal of it. It's all just people standing here, like it's some RuneScape uh, trading area. If I wanted to buy a cheapest pet, like just to have a pet in the first place... Oh, I can't even afford it. What about th this one? I cannot afford it. What about this one? I cannot, I cannot afford any eggs. So the cheapest egg, it seems, cracked egg, costs 350. You have to play for so long to just open one single egg. I mean, here, you can play for three days in a row and you will not even have enough bucks to buy the cheapest egg. I have a white loner tiger, tiger the, which is the most, or one of the rarest ones you can get from that dragon egg, but look at it. It looks so soulless. It doesn't even have like pupils. It looks like a Funko Pop. What is the most expensive thing they have? Unlocks free legendary royal carriages. That's the most expensive thing and it costs $15. That is fairly unexpected. Here's the thing. I don't have a problem with loot boxes in video games. I know it's a very unpopular opinion. I, I just frankly don't really care. But I feel like with this game, it's just like you don't have any real activities in this game by playing it normally. So you have to spend Robux in order to have a chance to get a pet that you can use, I guess, to flex on other people if, if I really had to like think about it. Unless I'm wrong and there are actual like activities in this game. I've never seen any actual games. I've only seen people interacting with each other, but ever since they got pets, everybody's just trying to trade with one another. What is this? Hi, Beatrice. No, I don't. Queen B, one in 40 chance. Okay, I'm gonna pay 200 Robux to try this out, to get a Queen B or a King B. Imagine imagine it's uh, some, you know, kid playing this game, right? And they just spent, how much was this? $2 again, $2. You can dress up. Can I give this, uh, can I give it a hat? There you go. Okay, that's actually pretty adorable. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. But I don't know, dude, this game is all about flex. This game is legitimately all about uh, flexing on other people of what kind of pets you have. It's not even like, hey, this is my pet and I'm happy with it. It's more like, this is my pet, I want others to be happy with it. Or I want other people to respect me because of that. At least that's how it uh, comes across to me. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm really curious about the comments on this video. I'm just gonna press on a couple of fake Adopt Me games just to see if we can find anything interesting. This one has a lot of dislikes, so let's give it a try. Uh, this one is called Adopt Me 2. Oh my god, it actually has guts and stuff. Pearl Kitten 8. I think this is a kid. This is some kid who accidentally joined this game. <laughs> I, I got exiled from Adopt Me, it seems. 